already. It's that time again. Indeed. Professional Solo is back. Absolutely. <laughs> Today, at exactly 22.31 UTC, I believe is what time it is right now. I can't count. <laughs> we have... 22.30, yeah. Let's go. We have Decay versus Cream Power. Decay being a Chile-based player, 25,000 ranked in the world. Mouse only, of course. Versus the United States Cream Power, ranked at 187,000. So, I believe he is the only six digit still in the tournament, correct? As far as I know, yes. Sounds probably a D ranker. Less of a D ranker, more that he just doesn't um Gotcha. Well, uh should be noted, Decay's specialty is hidden. So I think that's definitely gonna be something that Green Power will try to avoid. Or probably just ban altogether. Yeah, let's see if he's done his homework here. What a uh, wonderful warm-up music. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I was gonna guess this was Cream Power's warm-up pick, but never mind, Decay picked it. The usual schoolboy map, I'm sure. This sounds pretty awful. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm watching the Discord stream and can't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna sit for three minutes of this. Oh my gosh. You're definitely winning. I mean, I have, I have that. Twitch stream open, I can just turn on the volume for like two seconds and see how it is. At your own risk. I think it's better than the original. At least. Okay, I turned it off. I don't know, I would disagree. It, it's kind of... It's osuified. It is very osuified. It sounds like something from 2022 osu. Fortunately, the mapping is a little... Well, it's not 2022 mapping. So that's, that's a plus. I mean, 
That's cool, boy. He's alright. Got some good maps. Perhaps, but maybe uh, I should show you some ranked maps from 2022 to change your opinion about this era of snapping. <laughs> that, um. I don't know. I don't know if I want to see any 2022 maps. I think you only need to see one, really. Once you see one, you know all the rest. I'm a sucker for that, like, 2013 to 2015 era of mapping. Maybe even 2016. No, I, I agree with that. that. Yeah. It's not that it gets, like, less, like, more, it's like, it gets more creative, but at the same time, it gets sloppier. That's my biggest my biggest takeaway from modern mapping is it's sloppy. Pretty much. That's why I sort of gravitate towards older maps. Yeah. They, they see structure as outdated. Unfortunately. Another four minute warm up. Pushing the boundaries of um, warm up limits. Yeah. I'm waiting until someone picks a four minute and fifty nine second map. Wait, is the Melodia match in 20 minutes? Or am I remembering wrong? Uh, I don't think that's... Hold is on, it, I'll check the schedule. Or is it in an hour or 20? Melodia, I believe, is tomorrow. Oh wait, no, wait. Hold on, I might have uh, written that down wrong. Let me just see what he said in my DMs. Uh, don't have a very good mental schedule. <laughs> yep, so the Melodia match is indeed in uh, 30 minutes from now, or 20 minutes, I guess. Nice. Well, I guess they might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, that was written down correctly. I was just looking at the wrong one. It's the one in Loser's R3 instead of R2. Cities rise before me, then behind me sink again. This tardiest explorer drives me. Classic noise for noise. Yeah, every time I hear it, I think of the the old man sheesh. Sheesh. That's a classic video, and for anyone watching, uh, check it out. It's good stuff.
the winner of this match will be facing either Dorp or Hanalfa. Just thought I should put that out there. The stakes. Since this is also a loser's bracket match, that means that whoever loses this match will also be eliminated from the tournament. Double elimination. That's both warm-ups out of the way. Two ban as well. Westward from the Davis Strait, is there it was said to lie? HR two, of course. The sea route to the Orient for which so many died, seeking gold and glory, leaving weathered, broken bones, and a long forgotten lonely care. I thought I muted it, I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Prima too. <laughs> We're out of the gate with a hard rock one pick. Oh, the easy icons slightly working. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a fair amount of blacks in the background. It's better than the before. Though. It's recognizable, sadly. That's odd. I mean, I guess. Hmm. This is why you have to stay away from green in that area. Don't, I'm not sure what we can do.
from my keeping up my flipping. But can you hear this? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> to some extent. Control on that on that spinner though. Could have gotten some points there. He thought it was surprisingly good at hard rock for his tank. Yeah, he's put together a nice combo now. Despite the accuracy difference, put him in the lead. And you almost beat Melodia in the first loser's round on hard rock. Very close. That accuracy difference is, is making the world of difference, though. Both players dropping quite frequently. Green Power can, can combo it up here. Seems like the cake could miss it and drops hat and switch the lead back over. It's not a good miss for him. The lead is very slowly shifting into the case favor. Well, the lead has always been in his favor, even by a slight amount, it's just growing. Yeah, and it looks like that'll be Decay's point. Break point to start the match. That's much closer than I would have expected. Definitely a good pick by Cream. good that he knows the opponent he's up against and what he what he needs to do to beat him because there is quite a substantial uh not only just rank difference but the seating difference between the two is a lot larger than than the other matches so it's 
definitely going to take some strategy and perhaps a bit of luck. But Green Power can pull this off. It's not impossible. Exactly. And the hidden main goes for hidden, so... Banning that hidden 2 is definitely the right play for Green. See a bit of the difference in comfort level just from the UR bar alone. And unfortunate miss from green power. Decay, green get back. That's fifteen percent accuracy difference. Another combo reset. Okay, definitely the, the more comfortable player on hidden. about three times that of stream powers now. What more than that? Yeah. Halfway through the map though, I mean I I don't really know just the way it's been going. It would take quite something to take it back. But this is Decay's pick. And he is a hidden player, so after this um, he'll have to resort to free mods to be getting that uh that comfort. I think Cream Pellet still has some nice picks left. Uh, be easy for sure. We should definitely pick those two. Well, I, I'm pretty sure both are still available. Yeah, and especially if he's if he's practiced them up, uh, they should be a solid pick. Because, I mean, um, as far as mechanics go, his aim seems to be, you know, doing doing pretty well. His accuracy is the, the biggest difference between him and Decay's 4 wise, I would say. Um, and on easy, that, o that difference in OD, if he's practiced, might give him the edge against Decay. Who knows? Like a Nomad 3 pick next.
Ato Ashiru. Funny, there's a match going on at the same time that I'm dressing currently. Or will be in three minutes. Just to hop onto that match once this match is finished, if it's still going on. Yep. We just stall them with warm ups. Now we can pick long warm ups. <laughs> it's unfortunate that uh, Decay and Cream picked five minute warm ups each almost. power actually a lot more comfortable on this uh, not only in his aim but his accuracy as well keeping pace with decay and he's right on his footsteps Drop from Decay. Wow. This is big. Combo game could turn the tide in Cream's favor. What a trade rather not rather not long afterwards. And the act difference kept Decay's lead. Unfortunate. There's still a lot of map to go though. Over half. Is that another drop from Decay? Double drop. Reset on the board. Still pretty close. Very much so. Oh, and a big act drop from DK and a combo break as well. Lead. He's losing it. Going more in Green Power's favor in the combo game. Shift back over. Oh, it's back now. <laughs> it's gonna be close. We're only. We still got a third of the map left. Another reset. Those accuracies are close for this one. Yeah. Okay, slight bit of combo. They keep ping ponging between. There's a slight bit of combo. Another combo reset on the board. Playing very similarly. This, this pick is. This could go either way. There's still a quarter of the map. Drop from Decay, that's oh. big. That's big. See their combos. Now they can see each other's scores. The combo and the lead are in Cream's courthouse. The lead is only up. Cream Power only has a lead by like 900 points. That's crazy. Oh, what a drop! It's. And it's been going back and forth the drop on Decay side. I think if there was a big accuracy drop on by Cream. It's the lead's going a lot more into Decay's favor. That's unfortunate. That was a very close point though. Looks like unless something else happens here. Yes. The point will be going towards oh, well. Decay. Very That's well fought very though. Man. Indeed. Probably one of the closest we've seen. The final scores might not have shown it quite as often, but man, they were, it was a back and forth the entire time. Yes. 
Might have to leave here in a sec as well. <laughs> okay. And call spread notes back. Call upon, call upon spread notes to to hold down the fort. Let me do that real quick. Another Nomad 4 pick. I'm very much a Bonzi map enjoyer. A nice SS from Decay in the beginning. Couple of drops along the way from cream power. 20% accuracy difference though, and the scores are kind of showing that. But still three quarters of the map to go. For this map, that's a lot. Definitely seems to be a lot more comfortable of a map for Decay. It is his pick after all. Spin to win. about a 140 give or take lead the 
think how it is going up against a very difficult opponent. The K is the first move not bonkers to the tiebreakers. Yeah, and that's that is definitely a feat. Bonkers is not only a very strong player, but very experienced in the tournament world, so. Looks to be a point for Decay, but a very solid performance by Cream Power. And yeah, didn't get to see the score cap recaps, but it is what it is. There's a, uh, I believe there's a multi-link for every match that's played in the Discord, so. Yeah. If you're curious about yeah. that, it's right there for you. And it's match point, but it is Cream Power's pick, and he does pick No Mod Woman. So, I'd say that's interesting given the, uh, the difficulty. Neither player touched easy, so I'm curious if there were some mind games going on. We dropped from Cream Power, traded by Decay, but once again, accuracy making a large difference. Another drop by Decay. Probably not the best end to talk about it, but I'm really surprised that Cream Power didn't go for any of the easies, considering how I'm fairly sure he would have done better than Decay on them. Maybe it was like I was saying, maybe mind games going against him because Decay did ban one, or mm -hmm. maybe just a lack of practice and uh, who knows. He does have a bit of a combo lead though, and he's been missing less than Decay on this map. Well, I just jinxed that one probably, but if he could get his accuracy up and, and maintain his aim, I think I think he could take the lead on this one. Quite a substantial lead for Decay, but I mean, I gotta say, I agree. Cream Power is doing significantly better than someone his range honestly should be doing, so. Yeah, I'm surprised he's still holding this well. <laughs> face of strong opponents, you gotta be strong yourself, so. Wow, 
while, it doesn't look like he'll be taking a point in this match. He definitely stepped up to the plate. For sure. Had some very close scores with the K, that's for sure. Truly a very impressive performance. Solid combo to end the map. Well played to both players. Solid performances today. The K will be moving on, and uh, unfortunately, Cream Power will be eliminated from the tournament. And the struggles of being a lower seed, you have to go up against really difficult opponents. Yeah, very unfortunate. Well, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump right into the other match. Alrighty. Indeed. 